Network Rail's scheme to transform Farringdon Station into one of London's busiest transport hubs has already started. Work has begun on demolishing the 1960s office block opposite the station. This will be replaced by a new and much larger ticket hall and passenger concourse for the new Crossrail station, as well as the existing Thameslink connection. There is no doubt though that major work is needed at Farringdon Station, even before the increased Thameslink services and the addition of Crossrail. The station is badly overcrowded at peak hours and facilities are almost non-existent, a situation exacerbated by the closure of the neighbouring shops for the redevelopment work to proceed. As part of the Farringdon station improvement works, which will include the building of a large new ticket hall, all the local shops here have been closed and even the bicycle racks behind me here are going to be taken away any day now. By the end of 2011, Thameslink's programme of improvements at Farringdon will be complete with extended platforms to take longer 12 coach trains. There will also be a new much larger footbridge, new station entrances and step-free access. The improvements will double capacity on the line, giving Farringdon 24 Thameslink trains every hour. The entire Crossrail project is due for completion in 2017. Such a long time span is inevitably leading to doubts as to whether there will be delays and overspend. There are also complaints about disruption to the existing service. Thameslink trains are no longer running on the branch to Moorgate and the passenger entrance to Farringdon Station in Terminal Street is now open only at peak hours. Despite concerns over possible delays and disruption, the public's reaction to the developments at Farringdon is overwhelmingly positive both among local residents and the commuters who use the station every day. The development is absolutely wonderful. I think we're going to have a, a wonderful um, details of the whole place. It's ex exciting as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I think Crossrail development is great. It'll uh, increase the accessibility of London for those who are commuting from out of town, creates jobs, and I think it'll benefit the city. Do you think it will bring a lot of investment into the area? I think it will. I think uh, the work aside, the actual physical work aside, it'll, it'll help generate jobs, ease access. People, it'll become easier for people to travel and what have you.